Hi there, my name's Anthony James. Uh, I'm a junk model maker, that means I make models out of junk. And have done for about 20 years as a company called Creature Armour. I work for film, television and theatre as a prop maker and I work in lots and lots of schools and have done across the UK and beyond. I'm just going to do a little bit now about general model making techniques. So if you've already seen this on another one of my YouTube posts, then just fast forward to the bit where my shirt changes colour, that will be the actual make. For those that haven't uh, seen any of my posts before, I'm just going to do a little general piece about making models. The first thing you're going to need, if you're making them out of junk, is some scissors. These are my sort of medium sized scissors, good for adults, but if you're working with children, what you want are these smaller scissors with the blue handles on them. Uh, they're obviously different colours. If they're yellow and green in the UK, they're for left-handed people. If they're just one colour like this, they're for right-handed. Get that right straight off, because obviously if you're trying to cut with the wrong pair of scissors for you, you won't be able to make anything. Children particularly will think it's their talent that's at fault, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, they're sharp, be careful. Small scissors like this are blunt-ended, which is great, so they're not quite as easy to stab yourself with. Also, um, they're very good for cutting round corners, so for making smaller models, these are the scissors you want, particularly if you're working with children. And then, everything I build, and you can see some of my things behind me, is made with masking tape. Uh, masking tape is fantastic stuff. It's, you don't have to wait for it to dry, it's dry straight away, and you can paint over it. But there are ways to use it, and certain ways not to use it. This is one of the ways not to use masking tape. Don't try and break it with your teeth. The first thing, obviously, you'll get it stuck to your lip and it hurts when you pull it off. That can make a child's lip very sore. Uh, it's also not very hygienic. Uh, so don't do it that way. The way I do it, and it's a very simple way, yes, you can use scissors, but I tend to find that slows you down. Just get the tape off. And you can see in my hand there, the, the sticky side's away from you. Put your thumb on the corner and pull. The tape across straight off makes you very quick at making things. I'm going to put that bit of tape there later on because that's how to do it. Put lots of little bits of tape around so they're ready to use. I'm going to do it again. Put a bit of tape off. Put your thumb there, right in the corner. Don't worry if you bite your nails or you don't think you've got very long nails. Just press your thumb on really hard. It will still work and tear. And that's your tape. That's really all you'll need. Uh, obviously some paints at the end of the make will be very good. Uh, there's all kinds of different paints out there. Try and use a water-based paint if you're working with children because that's easier to wash out of where they're going to get the paint all over. Uh, and uh, obviously the way I'm going to show you to make models, you should have a surface that's quite easy to paint. There are lots of different makes of paint out there. I find acrylic some of the best paint to use. So this re that's really just the general model make. Now on to the actual building of well, what you're going to make next. Hi, uh, we're going to make a robot helmet. Uh, this is Grodan, one of the uh, characters from my Creature Armor Universe exhibition. He's a big robot, all made out of junk materials. You can see plastic bottles, corrugated cardboard, even part of what uh, the more elderly people watching this, like myself, will recognise as a record player. That thing we had before CDs and MP3s. And we have a plant pot as well. We're going to make a, a, a version of, sort of a robot head, which is a fabulous way of making sort of a fancy dress outfit and it will just start you off hopefully with that kind of thing so the first thing I'm going to have is some of this brown cardboard here some brown cardboard box so right here we go the first thing to do is to cut enough out that it'll go around your head now this is tough stuff to cut what I suggest is if you're getting uh, cardboard like this there are lots of different types of cardboard so don't just make it with the first piece of cardboard you can find, if that's really tough. Find some cardboard you can cut nicely. I'm going round this piece of cardboard looking for the nicest cut in it. Now, cardboard's very much like uh, wood. It has a grain in it, and you can see on this piece of cardboard, the grain is really going, just manoeuvre that there. The grain is sort of going that way. Okay. And if you see, that means you can fold it this way. Okay, The other ways are more difficult, but it likes to fold this way. And if it folds that way, you can then start looking at it. Well, it will fit round your head. Now, this is the idea. Put it round the back of your head, not the front, so you cover your eyes up. Put it round the back and pull it in until you've measured what you need. I need it to 
cooked to about there. So what I'm going to do now is cook off what I don't need, and I might use that to make something else later. So that I'll put to one side, there's my pump I need, and actually that's a bit tall as well, so I'm going to put these bits off. There is a natural fold in this box, which is about at the right height, so I'm going to cut that bit off there, and that bit off there, and I now have a tube, a piece of cardboard at least, that I can create into a tube shape that will fit around my head. All of my big masks, my big costumes in both Creature Armor Universe and Creature Armor Legends start off with this way, or start in this way, with this build. It's just this tube that will fit round your head. So there's the first bit made. Join it together. Don't have it so it's squishing your nose. Have it so it's big, it fits on your head nice, and there's plenty of room. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is be able to see through it. So, a piece of masking tape, tear it in half, and roll one of those over into a sticky pad, a sticky ball there. I'm going to do the same again there, sticky pad there, and then I'm going to stick this on my head. Now make sure the joint there, the ugly bit, put that at the back. So I'm now going to put this on my head, and I'm going to put these two sticky pads where I think my eyes are. Now my eyes are about there. And now stare at people because they find that funny, okay? And that's basically how you can find your eyes. Now, because I'm making a robot, that can be on anything really. That can be a hole that you see through. Here's one that was made for a charity thing I've just uh, been involved with. Uh, basically, that was made very, very quickly, uh, just with a hole so that you can see the person's face that's wearing it. And it's yoghurt pots and, and uh, bits of cardboard and all sorts of things. So to make that, you just cut out a big hole. I'm not going to make exactly the same as this. I'm going to show you some different things. So the first thing I'm going to do, now I know that my eyes are there, is I'm going to cut out a shape. Now with this cardboard, which is relatively thin, you can snip a hole like that. So I've just snipped the cardboard. That's made a hole. I can take those off now because I know that my face, my eyes, are there. So I'm going to cut, to all intents and purposes, a mouth out. And there's the mouth. Now I know that I can see through that mouth. All right, so I've done that bit, that's finished. The next thing now is to start filling in the top here. Now on a robot like this, all I did with this one was get a big piece of cardboard and cut out a big circle. And a bigger circle than that is a tube. So I know that the circle I'm cutting out is much bigger than that tube, and that's fine. That's how we need it. Because that's going on there, but not like that. What I suggest you do is get some masking tape. Because this is bigger, get some tape like this and just take it half on and half off around the whole thing, okay? Now, again, if you've watched any more of my makes like this, you'll recognise this way of fixing things together. I call it the flower way of sticking things together, because in a, in a, a sense, we're just gonna make a sticky flower. So, I put tape all the way along, all the way around, and I pressed it down. The next thing to do is to go snip, 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 snip. Snip, 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 all the way around. Make those petals as small as you can. Not too small, not so that you're uh, going to spend all day doing this. This is only part of the make, so I'm just doing them about probably an inch apart, two centimetres. And then bend them all out like that, so they go flat. Can you see me doing that? I'm just bending those all out, look like that. Okay, now, this round piece of cardboard you cut out earlier, Light on the table, make sure any writing on it is facing up. And now we're going to stick this to that. So I'm going to hold it in a nice round shape. Like that, and I'm going to start sticking. Now, that bit there isn't very round, so I'm going to reattach. This is the beauty of this way of doing it. You can move things and get it right. I'm going to make that a bit rounder. I'm going to make that bit there a little bit rounder. And then when it's the right shape, you start pressing your petals down. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Press those petals down all the way around. Now, that's attached. 
and it's going to start holding this mask into a better shape. Now I'm going to trim it at the top, but I'm not going to go right up to the end because of course that would that would actually trim my petals off. I'm going to probably leave about a centimetre and a half around there, an inch maybe, just showing. It doesn't really matter because this is going to be a platform now to stick other things to this particular robot mass. So there, and I've got a bit sticking out there, which is very nice, so we can get rid of that, get rid of those. Um, that is a lot better. There it's not very round, so I'm going to push that out and make it round. There we go. That's better, so we've got that shape there. Now, the rest of this is about sticking things to it. Here's a nice thing, this is a nice shape. I'm going to get a piece of cardboard like this, and I'm just going to cut out a big triangle. Like that, so that's a big triangle. I'm going to fold that in half in the middle, a bit like a paper aeroplane, like that. And I'm just going to cut out a snip and a snip, like that, get rid of that bit, a snip, and snip, and snip, and snip, get rid of those bits. And we've got that, and that's just a lovely shape. Now, you can stick that on that way, or you can stick it on that way whatever you prefer actually on this particular make i let's have a look i'm going to put it that way around um it's up to you it's your make so you decide and then i'm going to fold it flat and stick it to the table just the edges like because it's easy to stick things to a table like that and then pull it off and it's ready now i'm going to keep it 3d hold it 3d and position it in the middle now i know you can't see this so i'm going to turn it around as soon as i've done it I'm just going to put that there, like that, stick it on, stick the tape down a bit more, there you go, it's a bit like Optimus Prime, one of the Transformers or something like that. I'm going to get some more cardboard, I'm going to make another one of those, like that, a big triangle, a big triangle, this one's a little bit bigger than the one that I've already put on, I'm now going to Bend that in the middle, a bit like a paper airplane. Actually, you can see, when I folded that, it didn't go the same both sides. So, it's a good way to show you that all you do is you cut the other side off. So that it does match. I've got writing on this, so I'm going to turn it so you can't see the writing. And I'm going to stick these, again, to the table. So this, this one, I'm going to stick to the table. I'm going to start giving it away there. And I'm going to make another one. Um, half on and half on. Half on and half on. Like that. Take it off the table and stick that on. Now, through the magic of creature armour, I'm going to send you away and you're going to come back almost instantly and I'm going to have the other one made and I'm going to have stuck them on. So, I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. I know you were only gone for a, a, a nanosecond, but it's meant that I can do this one here. So, I'm just going to press down and put on as well. Look, come out to the other side. And there you go, that's sort of that shape there. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do another one. I've just freezer another one here. And I'm just going to stick that. It's the same thing, just a triangle look, fold it in half. And I'm going to put a bit of tape on there. Put a tape, bit of tape on there. And I'm going to put that on the top. Now, I'm going to turn it around just so I can see. And I'm just going to put that on top there. I will turn it around so that you can see that. My tape's gone over a bit, so what I'm going to do is snip it, look and fold it over and it's out the way. I'm going to do the same again there, snip it and fold it out the way like that. Press the tape down so it's nice and strong there. That's that done and I may even just slot a toilet roll in there like that just because I like it. Uh, and I don't even have to stick that, it's going to stay there. I'm going to put a little bit of tape just on the edges of that. I don't even see just there. I'm just going to put a bit of tape just on the edge there to hold that bit of tape on itself so it's cross braced. In other words, it's a bit of tape over another bit of tape and wrap around the cardboard like that, just to hold that from coming apart. So that's that. Next thing we're gonna do is use the yogurt pots. Put some yogurt pots here. Just rip your tape into bits like that. Yogurt pots come with this wonderful little ledge around the outside, which means they're very easy to stick on. Uh, so I'm just going to put my tape on those bits there uh, and then I'm going to have a look and see where I want them. I think I'll put one on there. And this is really a game of 
I wonder where I'm going to put this because there's no yes or no to this. There's no this is right, this is wrong. What's right is if you think it looks good. Um, and I'm just going to put those on there. I quite like them there. So I'm going to press the tape down. So in position, press the tape down. There and there. And then I'm going to get some tape and I'm going to put it on the bottom of one of those yogurt pots and tape that round like that. I'm going to have that yoghurt pot put on a different way round. So snip, snip, snip. I'll put my tape on and cut my petals out. The sticky flower way of sticking things like this, which I use a lot in my job while I'm making this. You may know if you've seen other things I've done. And I'm just going to pull those out like that. And I'm going to stick those. I think I'll stick one of those up here. Sort of an eye, really, I suppose. Up there. That. And another one on either side, like that. These yogurt pots are a little bit wet, so do be careful that if you're using junk, you manage to dry yours out a bit more than, than the uh, junk I've got here. Snip, 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 snip. Bend it back to a sticky flower. Look, I've shown you this before, but I'll just show you again. It's a sticky flower. So just take the petals out like that. I'm going to stick that one on and to all intents and purposes we have, well I think, quite a fab little robot mask which you can wear quite comfortably. So, if I just take the glasses up, you can see there, that you can wear it just like that. And that is your robot mask. Um, enjoy that, it's very good. If you're going to paint it, uh, there are lots of ways of painting it. There are uh, using spray cans, which you can do very quickly and easily, but make sure you're outside when you do that. And you're with an adult if you're a, a smaller person. If you're an adult, yeah, take it outside. Spray it black first and then spray it silver. And don't spray the silver all over. They'll look really good, like a burnished metal. And in fact, that's how Grodan is made behind me. If you want flashing lights, go to a pound shop or something like that, or a dollar shop, and see whether you can find just some lights that you can stick on somewhere, and that makes them look really good. And, uh, and that really is a robot helmet made. A very simple one. Make sure yours are as much fun as this has been for me because I really enjoy making things like this. So enjoy it. Uh, well, just we'll show you this one sort of sprayed up in a minute. So you'll see just a quick, a quick shot of us spraying this one, so we, you can see what it will look like with some acrylic sprays sprayed onto it. Um, do that outside. Do it somewhere where you can spray if you're going to spray, or if you want to just paint it with normal paints, normal water-based paints. And if there's any plastic like this, just drop a tiny bit of U, uh, uh, PVA glue into the paint just a little bit and it should paint those as well one of the other ways of course is looking at this color if you're using plastic like this this is sort of a, a, a burgundy color a, a deep red then actually do the rest of the creature or the rest of the robot that deep red color and you won't notice that you haven't been able to paint these yogurt pots that's the way around it uh, hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoy your your robot helmet thank you very much for watching